one question I get a lot is, what do I need to know to start using Vulkan? And to answer that, let's look at the Vulkan stack. So all the way at the bottom, you have the database, which is MongoDB. And then uh, on the server side, you have Meteor and uh, the GraphQL server powered by Apollo. On the client, finally, you have uh, a GraphQL client, uh, also uh, Apollo. And that GraphQL client stores its data in Redux, which finally sends the data to React. So you might think that you did, that's quite a lot to learn, but the cool thing about Vulkan is you can really learn uh, as much or as little uh, of each of these things as you need to. So let's look at a concrete example. So here's a sidebar, uh, which is uh, my own personal site. It's a newsletter of design links, and I, I like to use it as an example of a Vulkan site. I recently completed a, a redesign, and all the code for that redesign is in this uh, directory, sidebar 2017. And you can see there's a, a few subdirectories here. So uh, the bigger one by far is uh, components. And those are all React components. Uh, they're 99% uh, React code, uh, just regular React code with a little bit of Vulkan uh, APIs such as register components or uh, or with list, uh, things like this, which you can learn about in the Vulkan docs. But basically, the, the non-React code, the Vulkan-specific code, represents a very small fraction of uh, my component's code. Uh, I also have a modules directory. And what's in there is all the, the Vulkan-specific code that customizes how Vulkan behaves. So for example, I have an i18n file where I can add uh, internationalization strings. I have um, a custom fields file where I can add custom fields to Vulkan collections. Um, I have, what do I have? Mutations uh, file where I can define custom mutations. As you can see though, that's not a ton of code. Each of these files uh, is, is pretty small and pretty self-explanatory, uh, usually. And, and that's really about it. I have, OK, some style sheets, uh, some server-only code, uh, some newsletter templates, uh, because Sidebar has its own uh, email templates. On the client, I really just have some web font loading code. Um, so altogether, uh, a Vulkan app, of course, you have a lot of uh, Vulkan packages in the background that are running the framework, but your own code, I would say it's 90% React or maybe 80% React, a little bit of Vulkan specific code, and then not much else. So if we go back to our stack here, um, React is really what you need to know. React, the in fact, the whole philosophy behind Vulkan is to let you code your React app uh, as you normally would, and then to kind of help you along the way for everything else. So uh, what this means is that, well, for example, Meteor, you don't really need to know anything about Meteor to use Vulkan, even though that's what Vulkan uses as a build tool and uh, for certain things like user accounts. You don't really need to look into that too much unless you really want to go deep and customize things. Uh, you, but Usually in 90% of cases, you don't need to worry about that. Same thing with Apollo. Um, so Vulkan gives you a lot of uh, pre-made uh, container components to load data through Apollo, gives you a lot of uh, helpers to, to um, update data, to write your mutations, and so on. So there's probably a, a higher chance that you would need to learn Apollo compared to Meteor, for example to use Vulkan, but again, that's more for uh, more advanced features. And in any case, it would only represent like, you know, 10% of your code, probably. Uh, Redux, that's also managed through Apollo. So, you know, you can very, very easily write an entire Vulkan app without ever uh, writing any Redux code, even though Redux is used behind the scenes. So, yeah, to sum things up, if you know React, you pretty much know Vulkan. You'll just have to, you know, check out the Vulkan documentation 
to uh, get familiar with the Vulkan APIs for whatever you need to do, but most of them are pretty simple. Um, and it's usually a matter of just figuring out what you want to do, and then, you know, if you want to add a callback, just check out the callback section. Uh, you generally don't need to learn everything at once. So there you go. Uh, what you need to learn um, to use Vulkan, React is the big one, Vulkan itself, obviously, and then maybe a little bit of Apollo and GraphQL.